Today there will be no pencils, no erasing, just Sharpies. that one video where it got stuck in my hair. They're supposed to fall in front of me and they didn't. Woo. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you guys are doing well. I felt like changing up the background today, sitting on the floor. I've dabbled a little bit in Sharpie stuff over the years, but I haven't done any traditional drawings, I'd say, with them. Basically, I just did alcohol paintings and bookmarks with that same method. Today, I decided to use Sharpies as an actual drawing material tool try out the sharpie challenge before we get into this let's take a little poll do sharpies smell great or terrible i personally am team let's plug my nose i expect to get a headache from this but i love you guys you're so cute you're so fluffy no let's start a petition to make sharpies start smelling like vanilla and fruit okay let's move on let me introduce you to all my Sharpies. Sharpies, these are the lovely viewers. Viewers, these are all of my Sharpies, or most of them. Maybe there are a couple hiding out in random places. I'm going to be using Bristol for this piece, which is basically a thick cardstock. It has one side textured and one side that is smooth, so the one side's kind of like watercolor paper. I don't know how else to explain it. So I'm not really sure how many different colors of Sharpies exist. If you guys know, comment it, but I have 29 different ones in my collection personally, not including the fine tip and the brush tips, just the different colors. I also came across this. I have no idea where I got it from. It looks like it says Shoopy, Shoopy, Shoopy. But is this a counterfeit? I, it looks totally different and it crystallized. First things first, I'm gonna swatch all the colors on this piece of paper, see what we have to work with. I'm not going to measure out boxes or anything, so it's just going to be kind of messy, but hopefully you guys aren't turned off by that. Oh my gosh, the smell is already getting to me. I think this color palette is definitely more than enough. There's so many beautiful shades of purples, pinks, blues, and greens. I wish you guys could be here in person to see just how neon this yellow is. It's ridiculously bright compared to everything else, but that's kind of cool. None of the other neons are really that neon. The orange is kind of, and I think a couple of my colors are fading. They're running out of juice, but that'll be good for having light tones in a piece, whatever I choose. This piece right here you guys may recognize. It's been hanging on my wall in the background of my videos for quite some time. It is just a bunch of crayon doodle bows. So in order to do a little bit of practice and warm up for the Sharpie challenge, because I'm not gonna be using pencils for outlining, I'm just going to go straight in with the ink. I thought it would be good practice to duplicate these bows. I'm only on the second bow and I already like the crayon one so much better. Just the softness of the lines and the ability to blend better. Uh, you can't really do that with Sharpie. It's all just one opacity. But despite that, I do think that it still turned out really cute and it was a great way to practice, like I said. I do recommend if you wanna get more confident at drawing and your line placement, use some markers, use some ink, and go to town. I remember in an old video, some people were asking what go to town actually means. Different regions and towns and families have their own phrases. So I don't know if it's an Ohio thing, I don't know if it's a USA thing, but comment below if you have kind of like a strange phrase that your family members may know of or your city is known for. Random useless facts like that really interest me for whatever reason. By the way, if the sound sounds different throughout this video, I'm testing a new recording style where I talk during some parts of the video but then I also had to do voiceover to add more sustenance to the footage so it wasn't just all music. I have a microphone but it just sounds different depending on how far away from it I am. I hope it's not too big of an issue. Let me know in the comment section below which bow doodle is your favorite and please disregard the crickets outside. I had to crack the window because Sharpie smells so bad. 
Let's get started. Here I am just doing the basic outline and you're gonna find out really soon what this guy is and actually just kidding it was in the thumbnail. It might be blurred out a little. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. I guess that's a question you guys could answer in the comment section. Do you like watching videos where you already know what the artwork is? Like for instance my 100 markers one drawing video. I did a mermaid ocean scene and I placed that image clearly in the thumbnail but in my 200 play-doh video where I made a sculpture from 200 different colors cans of play-doh not 200 different colors just 200 cans of play-doh I did not show the sculpture in the thumbnail so I don't know what interests people more it just seems to vary for my channel but I know there are so many art channels that do not show the image or they blur it out so what do you guys prefer and as I was blabbing on about that I got most of the basic outline of the owl it's an owl. I got that completed. As you can see, I used different colors for these outlines. There wasn't just one thick black outline. I decided to do each color separately. And then to add texture to the wings, I added a dark purple or violet first, then a lighter one, followed by a magenta pink. So that brings a little bit of feathery texture to the wings. And now I'm going to have this owl perched on a small branch. And I decided it would look really cool to have it gold instead of brown because the brown is so dark but I also did want to include a little bit of texture in this now here's the thing when you're using metallic sharpies they are a different consistency I don't exactly know what the difference is but normal sharpie will not color over it so it kind of resists one thing that I don't necessarily like about this drawing that I feel I messed up is the talons is that what an owl's feet are called those um, at the bottom they don't really wrap around the branch because I couldn't layer the purple over the gold but that's the best I can do unless I would match the color with acrylic paint and then paint that to disguise and blend the feet in and make it look better I don't think it's that big of a deal I don't think it's that noticeable so I did move on to coloring the belly in in the chest area and you can see I did put a tuft of feathers under his beak and between the wings so um, I wanted to do that to layer up the color and you know make it noticeable so you could actually see that even though it's the same color if you layer the ink a few times it's going to get darker and more pigmented. on I did color around the eyes I used this really beautiful turquoisey color now I don't know if this is actually the color it's supposed to be or if I've just had that marker for so long that it's running out of ink because the two teals they have very similar cap colors if you notice and I would think they would be the same color but one must be from one of those like 70s retro packs I don't know they do different random um, special packs sometimes I did use that other teal color for the tips of the ears and it kind of reminds me of Pikachu at this point definitely not the same colors but kind of the same ear shape and that darker tip at the top tip at the top tip at the top so I got this owl down and looks are pretty deceiving because you wouldn't think that it really took a long time but somehow I don't know probably just because I'm slow at everything it took quite a while I probably think it took a lot longer than it did just because of the sharpie smell and sorry for complaining about that again but it's just like sharpies are just so bad for me like I just my body Body is like no Sarah what are you doing I'm putting some stars in the sky obviously and then I am going to outline the entire owl with this kind of what what would this purpley be I always just call things by their Crayola color name it's a light cool tone purple color I actually am thinking of making prints of my artwork to sell on I don't know where yet but if you have suggestions or videos I can watch on that process how to get started on making prints what the best place to do it is let me know in the comment section below leave me links uh, message me on Twitter I definitely want to do that because I want to share my artwork with you guys and I did notice at this point that the light purple is very similar to the light blue that is on the owl so I went over the entire background a second time to darken things and make that more of a contrast between the two colors so now the blue that's around the owl's eyes and on his stomach 
it doesn't look so similar to the night sky. I also have this Sharpie paint pen. I think it's almost out of juice, but I'm gonna try and add a little bit of extra definition to the wings and make them look feathery. This is my thumbnail where I tested the colors to see what it would look like. I decided I didn't wanna do a black outline of any sort. Also adding the white, in my opinion, helps the contrast between the background and the wings. So it just helps to separate them a little bit more. The other thing I did to bring more separation between the owl and the night sky background is that I used the color that is on the owl and re-outlined that if that makes sense. So you can see I'm going over the like teal turquoisey part with that same color and just making that a little bit darker and making it stand out more. So since my Sharpie paint pen is out of juice basically, I'm gonna use a gel pen to put the highlight in the eyes. I know technically it's not a Sharpie, but the paint pen would in theory do the same exact thing. So let's just pretend that I went and bought a new Sharpie. Finally, I took that white gel pen, which we're pretending, remember, is a Sharpie paint pen. Shh, all Sharpies here. And I just put some dots in the sky and I defined the wings a little bit more. And that's it. Here we have a really cute owl. And to be honest, it kind of looks like something that could hang in a nursery or a little kid's room. But that's not a bad thing. I think it's really cute regardless of that. This owl is actually based off a really old doodle I did years ago. Here's the comparison. The other one's a little bit chubbier. He's really cute too but this is what my new one turned out like and i hope you guys like it if you're new to my channel i post a video every single friday so be sure to turn bell notifications on that way you'll never miss out on one of my new uploads i have a lot of cool stuff planned for the near future you shall see but if you just can't wait check out a couple of these videos in case you miss them and if you happen to enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up to let me know leave me a comment and i hope you guys have a great rest of the day i'll see you soon bye